Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Sensing. Today I will discuss a very important topic, mainly mineral exploration. Today's session I will try to explain how we can easily identify the clay mineral as well as we also try to identify about the uranium. So it's very important for mineral exploration in remote sensing you can easily detect two different types of mineral using this technique and it's very useful for mining section so let's go to uh, today so try to discuss about that how we can easily identify the different types of mineral mainly claim as well as also identify about that uranium so First of all, here you can see I take this false color composite. So basically, here you can see about that reference paper about that. Here you can see the paper about that. It uh, mainly application of remote sensing and exploration for uranium mineralization in this place. So you also try to read this paper. Then I hope you can easily get that plot of idea what the technique they are using here to identify the mineral exploration and I also try to follow this algorithm and then further I also try to make this code in the Google Earth engine. That's why we can easily work with that and we can identify about that different types of mineral. So basically in this paper, they are using that, that Landsat ETM data. And this Landsat ETM data is very important to identify the different types of mineral. So in this ETM data, so they are also using that the different types of composite so basically for the geological feature to identify where you had this type of false color composite here you can see this is the composite 7 band 7 then 4 and band 2 okay the one kind of composite we can easily uh, get okay as well as we also use here the different types of band ratio basically you can see this type of band ratio when you use then we can easily identify the different types of mineral or different types of product we can easily get from here as well as as well we can also apply for that density slicing it's also a very important technique to identify for the different types of feature or mineral okay so basically it's one kind of digital image processing technique used in remote sensing to classify continuous raster data into discrete the interval or slice based on the pixel value and this method is very helpful to enhance the visualization of a specific range of data by assigning the different types of color to each image and make it easier to identify and analyze the feature within an image so it's very important technique or method to identify the different types of mineral or rock so it's very important for the density slicing it's very important as well as uh, supervised classification images so it's very important to identify for the different types of mineral so basically you find out this type of technique that this paper use so first of all there you had the composite images so basically you can see this is the one kind of uh, image composite 7 4 2 band combination they're using here as well as also they are used at this type of uh, band ratio and they are also used at that density slicing as well as also they are used at the supervised classification so they are used this type of technique and further they are create this type of map here you can see basically landsat etm plus we can use type of image ratio for this study area they are using here this is the one kind of band ratio uh, 5 by 7 4 by 5 3 by 1 in rgb for the study there you can get this type of map so here you can see they get this type of map and here you can easily get this type of red color identify about that high concentration of the clay mineral okay so when i use this type of band ratio and i can easily identify this type of region it show about that very high concentration of the clay mineral as well as the clay alternation index you can get it from here and further also you can see that you said that uh, supervised classification so after creating this type of ratio they are also used at this a type of supervised classification so here mainly this type of yellow color it's identify about that 
in recent zone with the claim you know and it's about that it a high concentration that type of yellow color identifies that high enhancement zone with the claim you know as well as also you can see about that they are also trying to create this type of spectral signature or spectral profile for different types of rock okay and then they are also you will visualize this type of thing so basically this type of things when you want to do we need some uh, ground truth data and then further they also create this type of thing and also you can see that they are also use at the field study so if you also try to read this paper then i hope we can easily get that lot of idea about that how we can easily identify uh, uranium as well as we can also create this type of uh, map to identify about the uranium contour map here you can see that we get this type of uranium contour map basically uranium uh, contour distribution they also create so far they also discuss about that how we can create this type of contour map and also create the contour uh, dis uh, distribution the uranium so today's session uh, i will show you this type of process so basically i will explain uh, one by one um, first of all you can see this the band composite then we try to apply here the uh, band ratio and from the band ratio we can also try to identify about the density slicing then we can easily get about the high concentration about that we can see a uh, high concentration about that uranium for this study area uh, as well as we can also get about that so data sli uh, density slicing is very important to identify for the different types of mineral okay so you can see you can get that high concentration about that it's so about the high concentration about the uranium mineral you can easily get it from so it's very important to identify for different types of mineral and set etm class and further we also create the contour map as well as we also make the contour distribution map then we can easily uh, do for the different types of you know, mining work so it's very important about that so first of all here you can see first layer it show about that our false color composite so it's very easy you can easily uh, filtering our satellite imagery and set etm plus so basically here you can see the imagery uh, basically this image is that land set seven uh pair and one of, of atmospheric reflectance in data and this data is the very updating we can also get you can see the last time to have that so we can easily use this data for our mining work and further here you can see this type of band so this type of band also about that and this imagery we can easily use to identify for that um, oral exploration so this is very important that you also try and you can see we can easily apply the different types of band composite or the band combination we apply from here and further you can easily identify for the rock or mineral or different types of things and then you can see this is the band ratio so you can easily type of band ratio and you can easily identify about that high concentration of the clay so basically this type of red color for my map it's indicating about the high concentration of the clay okay and from that we also try to apply the density slicing and then further we also try to identify for that uh, mineral the specific uh, mineral so basically uh, this density slicing uh, this technique we are used to identify or visualize the specific range of data assigning in different colors to each images and we can easily uh, identify and analyze the feature within the image so this you can see you can easily get this type of things about the high concentration you can type of your local identify about high concentration about that uranium as well as all type of things things so if you want you can also export this full map and further you can also get get the proper map also you can see you can get this type of things is that high concentration of the uranium we can get it from here so further you can easily export this map and work with the art map software to create the proper map as well as there's a lot of way for we use this type of map for the mining so if you want you can also learn this type of things how we can easily create this type of analysis I mean exploration as as well as if you want you can also learn some online training program or 
GIS on remote sensing. So our registration is open for that new batch. So this class will be start from that 19 July. So if you want to join my live training program, simply contact. And our live training program is very unique. Okay, so not like others people who take the online training program. We try to focus for the beginning. If you have no knowledge about that coding, if you have no knowledge about the Google Earth Engine, if you have no knowledge about that remote sensing, totally zero knowledge, don't worry about that. You can easily learn all of those. And further, this type of analysis you can easily do. Okay, so when you are a developer, then you can easily do this type of mapping, this type of analysis, you can easily do, and you can easily work. And we are also providing another support. It's called that lifetime boosting support. It's very important. So as a beginner, so when you want to learn the Google Earth Engine, a lot of problem when you do for your own project work. So that's why you are also providing the lifetime boosting support. It's very important because as a beginner, when you want to learn the Google Earth Engine platform, you face a lot of problem. So that's why you are also providing the lifetime boosting support. So that's why you can easily learn all of those things very quickly and efficiently. So now our list is the open. If you want to join, I will already added all of those things in the video description. If you are interested to the different types of remote sensing techniques such as mineral exploration, water quality monitoring, growth monitoring, as well as lot of things we can easily do using the Google Earth Engine using the remote sensing technique. So if you are interested, then you can simply contact. I already set all of those things in the video description. Simply contact with me and further you can easily learn. And also apply this step for your research. Thank you for watching. Happy.